for you don't days. Have gains. You have no gains, dude. What did you? No gains. She's just eating my wafers in front of my face. Yeah, eat those wafers. Keep eating the wafers. You don't need any more wafers, dude. Well, Excuse I know me. I don't need you. You're nasty. I know I don't. Yeah, dude, there's a guacamole burp. That wasn't a good one. Marcus makes the worst guacamole I've ever had. It was my first time making guacamole any child, ever, any, ever in my life. Any child could make this. We want to know what Marcus' recipe is. He opened the avocado, smashed it. That's what you do. Goes, you mush up the avocado. It's guacamole. No, cave, it was I the caveman's a, recipe. I, fuck you. I it was put a caveman's onion. recipe. I'm a caveman, but I put in onion, tomatoes, fucking onion powder, garlic powder, some fucking wow. lemon juice. No, lime what he juice. was trying to say is he used a dash of onion powder, a dash of. I didn't all, go crazy. Oh, he used five avocados. I used five and a half. Avocados. He made he oh made God. two pounds of guacamole Dude, and expected to use a dash of seasoning, <laughs> and he's like, "It's too overpowering. There's too much seasoning." Dude, I had. So fucking all those avocados Dude, were white. I ate it with chips, and the chips got less salty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, and they the, could use some salt for sure, man. Oh, my God. It is brutal, dude. But I tried, and I think that's what matters, right? I tried to make it. He tried. I didn't let the avocados rot. Is that what matters? Yeah. The avocados didn't rot. Yeah, keep eating the wafers. Keep eating his wafers. He doesn't need them. We're drinking beer tonight anyway. Yeah, we're shooting a live podcast here at... Um, our living room. At, at our studio, in our living room. Yeah, man. We got a green screen. So the podcast green is probably going to come out with a green screen. It's sponsored by yeah, we're gonna try to Yeah, we're going to try to get some sponsorships so you can put your logo right up here for just a small fee of... 25 bucks, I think. Or more. Or more, if you want to pay more. How but 25 bucks will definitely put you on this screen. If you're going to stand there, I'm going to fucking talk to you. All right, all right, fine, whatever. Um $75. Maybe we, should start, maybe we should start it. Seventy-five dollars. Okay, seven. Yes, a hundred dollars. What if you want me to say it? It's five hundred dollars. So it's five hundred dollars. Megan will say it for five hundred dollars. She has she's friends with a playmate. So um, yeah, yep. Big boobs. So if you really want, <laughs> <laughs> if you want, if you want it read by the friend of a playmate, five hundred dollars. If you just want the logo. Twenty-five to seventy-five dollars, depending on difficulty, degree of difficulty. Um, but we're just saying, we're just saying, Playboy's involved here somehow. Yes. Kirkland, Kirkland vodka, Kirkland vodka, Costco. Drinking with the pops today. Shout yeah. out to my dad. What's up, dad? You are basically drinking on open mics now. Yeah, your dad is now. definitely disappointed. Hey, thanks for thanks for mentioning I'm close now. I appreciate it. Yeah, your you co-host. We did that yet. last week. We said that last week, and nobody gave a fuck. So. Um, I, I think figured you'd fine. give an intro now. Like I figured you'd be like, and your co-host. Nope. But- nope. Not how it's going to work. I demoted myself from host to co-host just so you could fucking feel better about yourself. All right. That hurts. Mostly because you bought the green screen. So I guess financially we're like codependent or something. I don't fucking know, man. Um, But yeah, open mics, open mics. Open mics. Episode Two two hundred and fifty three. Is it episode two hundred fifty three? No, it's episode. I don't fucking know. Uh, it's episode, episode for January. What is today? January twenty eighth. January twenty eighth. Wait a minute. Yes, yeah, January twenty eighth. The January twenty eighth episode of, of Open Mics because it's now Tuesday. It's now Tuesday. Yeah, you got a show today. I have a show tonight. If anyone gives a fuck in Glendale, man, I was talking to Glendale, my man. Glendale, come out there. Glendale, dude. It's actually going to be a good show. Melanie Hearn. Hearn Hell is yeah, hosting it. Is. Is. Saul's uh, on it. Saul's on it. Ashley Matthau and uh, Brandon Lawrence. But Melanie Hearn is actually funny, and that's cool, man. Not that everyone else on the show isn't, but she's she's just making her way downtown Getting around, doing Making comedy. Making way downtown. Fucking getting doing into all the big clubs. At the comedy getting, store. Getting into all the big clubs. Show. We're going to do, do, do a do, shot. Do, 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 do. A shot to Melanie Hearn. Yes, we're going to do a shot. Shot to Melanie Hearn. Because uh, she's Melanie killing Hearn. it in the game. She's coming back next Monday to the comedy store for friends and family. She got called back at the improv. Um, Shout out to Melanie. Yeah, ooh, yeah. Ooh. She's doing it. She's doing it. So the that's what's up. And uh, like I said, you know, I'm doing her show tomorrow. You want the bigger shot or the little shot? The little shot, please. You vagina. Um, he's a vagina. He's taking the. He. I gave him the option to be a man. Do you want the big shot or the little shot? And he. I'm already drinking he ran a lot. Away. Oh, you're today. drinking a lot. Whose fault is that? Mine, obviously. Right, and now you're catching up, so I'm leaving, letting you be the. 
Cheers. To Cheers Melanie. to Melanie. Right. Hey. Okay. Oh, God. Woo! Kirkland vodka. It's not as bad as it looks. So smooth. Yeah. I I don't... Oh, you're chasing it with Red Bull, too, huh? Yeah. Red Bull or Kirkland, if you need, um, you can put right on our screen for just a small fee of... Three hundred and fifty dollars. Yep. Three hundred and fifty dollars. Three hundred and fifty dollars. This podcast is going to come out with a green screen. Just a green screen. Yeah, I really want to put something on it though. Me too, but I don't know how to do it, and I'm not going to learn by the time this podcast needs to be out. So, because people demand it, there's like three people who listen to it right away. Yeah, and I'm not going to let three people down because I've already let three people down in my mom, dad, and brother. So I'm not doing that again. Not with this Slow podcast. Down so much. And huh? me. Actually, four. You should include I've let me. you down? Yeah, you let You me don't down. matter, though. That hurts. Why don't I matter? I'm your co-host. You're not now. my family. If you call me an alcoholic, I don't care. That hurts. But you've been called alcoholic by your family, right? Yeah. Doesn't that hurt more? It hurts, yeah. It hurts way more because they've known you since you were a baby before you knew about alcohol, and then they saw you. You fall know what? This, and sorry to cut you to off, it. dude. I just looked over at your uh, the screen, and we have zero dollars on our page. Yeah. <laughs> it's yes. like you have zero dollars. You have ten plays. No, I have um, four hundred seventy-seven. He has four hundred seventy-seven plays. Guys, get us up there to five hundred. Let's have a five hundred party. You get us up to five hundred. We're gonna gets fucking to 500 do shots. Plays, we'll do. We can do another shot for five hundred. It's at what is it? Twenty three away. These get twenty three plays sometimes. If Last they get us one up did. to a thousand. We gotta do a special episode. But we put it on YouTube. Thousand plays. The YouTube one got actually a lot more play than I thought it would. People stopped listening to the audio as much. The audio went down quite a bit, but the YouTube went up quite a bit. Um, yeah, dude, get on that. Which get is on that fucking YouTube. cool, man, because uh, I don't know. We just wanted people to hear us. So tell us your avenue. But we put it on YouTube so people can see us. Yeah, because you want to see yeah. my pretty face, not Marcus's. Yeah, I don't know, man. You Maybe that's why ugly. YouTube went up, because you can see my face. Yeah, you think people listen for your face? I, yeah, I think Dude, so. you hit on so many female comics tonight. I do not do that, Marcus. Why you do did put do me that. Blast right now, man. Because we're talking about open so mics. Open, I know. All you do at open you're gonna mics. Put my, you're going to put me out here like this? Yeah. What is wrong with you? You don't get with any of them. You're it's not asshole. a bad. You just shoot your shot a lot. You miss a lot. It's not <laughs> How many how many female you comics? Have so how much many? blast right now, man. Okay, all right. So much. Why do you do that? <laughs> Why do you, you do that? It, dude. it was so funny. You're an idiot. I'm sorry, buddy. I hate you. I hope you get with one of them. God, or man, multiple. you're an idiot. You're such the worst wingman <laughs> in the world. What? You think any of them are gonna watch this? If 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 someone does, get yeah, over. maybe they'll think you were funny. Maybe that. <laughs> Maybe they'll like the way your mustache gathers up vodka Red Bull. I should use my mustache sign, but I wanted to drink with Pops today. So cheers to that, dude. Cheers. Cheers to your dad. Cheers, He's dude. funnier than you. Um, he is. He really is. He's a very funny guy. Uh, <laughs> and he's, he's a user of marijuana. I, I don't know. You're going to put my dad on blast, too? No, no, You're no. just out. You're like TMZ, I'm bro. I'm not TMZ. Oh, what the my fuck? God. Okay, all right, What all right. the fuck? I'm not Hey, TMZ. we saw Justin down at Comedy Store. He was talking. It's fucking be- legal, dude. <laughs> it's it's so, it's legal. You're just putting everybody on blast, Marcus. Dude, I'm not TMZ. I'm not, yeah, early, dad, I'm not early reporting yeah, Kobe Yeah, so Bryant. anyway, yes. My dad, uh, he has tried it. It's pretty funny. Uh, he just started with edibles, though. He's crazy. Speaking Sorry, of edibles, edibles uh, cosmic cookies, they fucked us cosmic up last cookies, week. Cosmic cookies, definitely for $510 right there. You can get your logo right here. Yeah. They gave me this free hat and Comment. their edibles. If you just want to like donate money, we'll put your fucking name on the screen. We'll shout out your Instagram, dude. Yeah. Give us some money so we can uh, get get uh, we can buy more equipment to make it better. We're yeah. working on uh, – I think our next step is probably getting an assistant for all the emails we're getting. Yeah. We might need one of those. I keep getting emails saying that your podcast didn't get uploaded, and I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> keep kidding me. And I'm like, oh, fucking fan mail is crazy. Oh. It's also sponsored by Jaguar Twin, too. I just want to say that. Oh, yeah, Jaguar Twin. If you want to get your logo up, Atlantic if you want to give, if you want to give your logo up here, Jaguar Twin, for $1,000, <laughs> you can be right here. We'll even put your, we'll put a live video behind us. While we while we while we do yeah. this, we'll put you in the background just live playing behind our faces. And the best part is for twelve hundred dollars you can do that. Or yeah, four easy payments. Oh, we could put up a link to it. We could do a little cross promotion. You guys promote us, we promote you, huh? Yeah. 
See, I don't like that. Oh, uh, see, that right? hurts really I bad. mean, yeah, yeah part- you can shout <laughs> us out, but we won't shout you out. Oh, just I'm like so glad list. this wasn't on mute. I thought that was on mute for a second. I was like, Scared. fuck the whole thing. Okay. Um, yeah, that's like when people follow you on Instagram and then unfollow you as soon as you follow them back, and you're just like, fuck, yeah. Yeah, that's what I say. I do that to people sometimes, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't follow them back. So it's like the thing with like this is, is like, we're doing this like talk up top, right? I like it. You know, it's fun. Yeah. But is this kind of like advertisements before we talk about the open mics? Well, we're not getting paid what are they for like? any of this. I know, right? What do they like more, you think? You guys don't want to get right into the mics? Or do you I think, you know what? I think people definitely like the part where you break down the wall and start talking about podcast structure in the middle of the podcast. That's always the best. Oh, my God. People yeah, dude, love yeah. b- inside the podcast shit like that. Inside um, the podcast? Inside the cast, dude. Do we want to talk about last week? Last week sucked. It this really did. Sucked for me. It's I hated it this sucked from the beginning because the first mic we did, we we made it to the improv late, didn't get a ticket, so we didn't even get in the bucket. Yeah. And then we find out today there's no improv mic tomorrow or today. So uh, there's all our chances of ever going up at the improv. Why do you got a burp, dude? So nasty. Dude, I'm sorry, man. I got the burps. I've been eating that shitty guacamole, dude. Dude, I'm know. sorry. Gosh, man. Marcus, when he says, dude, I'm sorry, so aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. All right, our other roommate's flicking us off now. But after we didn't, after we didn't get up at the improv, what do we do? We so that's our that. assistant. She's, She's really the Instagram assistant. assistant. Yeah, definitely. She, made, she, she showed me that emojis are a thing you can use in your fucking Instagram post. Yeah, Marcus um, is just now using free emojis everywhere he wants because he thinks he's cool. I don't know how emojis He's like an work, old man, man and he got a hold of a phone and it's not good. Somebody gave him social media. Watch out, world. Here comes Marcus. With peanut and elephant emojis. What is it? Emojis? Emojis. You just mis said it. He said emojis. 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 You fucking idiot, dude. You are the dumbest person I've ever met in my life. You're the dumbest smart person I know. That's true, but at least I'm a fucking smart person. You just have a mustache and weird glasses, dude. Weird? Man, you're mean. (laughs) Your glasses aren't that bad. I've seen worse glasses. Mostly when you wear your sunglasses, but I've seen worse. Yo, dude, when a girl said when the girl said I looked good today, dude, I was like, Yeah, which uh, comic was that? That was that Lulu girl, dude. She was like, Who the fuck is Lulu? <laughs> she has spot. Is that the gay dude? Look- <laughs> <laughs> Who's Lulu? <laughs> Who the fuck is Lulu? She's, she's a comic, I guess. Okay, what does she look like? Like uh, she wears like uh, she had like the like that that hair thing like this, like she cut it off. Oh, the girl. Yeah, With yeah, I remember. Shit, she got on? Yeah, she got up. Did you watch? Dude, I wish you go watch on Instagram it, like a creep. I was like, good set, Tomb Raider. Yeah. Either good way, okay, so you. we didn't get up at the improv. We didn't even get a butt name in the bucket at the improv. It fucking sucked. Then we went to this other room. The yeah, we rushed room. there. We Talk fucking, about the rush yeah, of the improv. We rushed We there. were mad. Like, I was up. mad. I was mad because we, everyone's fucking taking forever and we fucking get there and we're running late and we don't get in the fucking line early enough. We don't get a ticket. Fuck. It's because so we, we're working on things, man. Oh, you know, we were by the way, we got shit. We went to guys, Costco. We got stuff happening in the works behind this green screen right here, dude. You we have know. a show that we're going to start doing. No, you don't even uh, know. Coming soon. The he oh, he gonna, shed. The he We're going to name it now. Is this official? Yeah, the unveiling. Soft opening. The soft opening. Or as of Justin what calls it, sex. The soft ah. opening. Um, Okay, yeah, that's coming soon. But yeah, we went. So at, okay, after the improv, we went to the kids' room. Easter egg, dude. You, you were never gonna get through it. this shit. We're never gonna get through it. You wanted to get into it. You brought a. Whole, you brought it up. You brought a whole cooler of beer and I put ice in it, like we were, like you were going to the beach. He packed. He packed fourteen beers and goes and goes. The sun. I, I go, dude. What are we doing? And he goes, pussy man up. Yeah, I need one, I need one too. I'm double fisting over here, Marcus, and you're not doing it. Okay. I got a drink with my dude. dad and a beer with you. God, it's interesting. Damn it, Can you Justin. open that? That's actually emotional, man. It, that's the kind of week it's been. It's been terrible. Well, tell them what's going on in your life. Ter- oh my god. So ah! I don't know if I want to. I, it's bad. Let it out, man. Come on. It's bad. I know it's my bad. grandpa and my grandma are doing bad. My grandpa is uh, so like shit with him. His cancer. And stuff is growing and his kidneys aren't doing well. They just started dialysis, so that's going on. And, you know, it sucks when you're away from your family. And then you can't – and you barely have to see him over the holidays and shit like that. So it's just like – I hope he gets better. He's strong and he's fought it for a while. So it's like uh, 
it's shitty when you're across the country from your family and shit goes off. And that's how this week has been going. Yeah. And I don't like it at all because it's like you feel even worse about it because um, you can't do nothing about it. It's all fucking because of money. You know, I'd fly home right now just to go see him if I could. But, you know, shit like that happened. So um, just, yeah, going through that with my grandpa and then, you know. My grandma also went to the hospital. Now she's home, but that's by my week to start it up. So damn, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. That really fucking. And I get what you mean about the helpless feeling because you're all the way across the fucking country. Yeah, it's like, really shitty. You're just so far away, and it's like even if you could do anything, you know what would it? What there's nothing you really can do to make an impact, but you just want to be there anyway. That's sometimes the yeah. point, and sometimes you got to remember, like, yeah, man. What would they want? They want you to be out here, right? We talked to your grandma on the phone. She wants you to be out here. She wants you to be, you know, doing what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. She wants you to do better jokes than you're doing, but she definitely wants you to be out here doing your shit, man. I know. I'm I'm sorry, man. I'm I'm trying to get better just for my family. Let's do a shot for your grandpa. Yeah. Let's do a shot for him. What's his name? John. John Essenmacher? Yeah. He's John. John Essenmacher. That's John Essenmacher Sr. That's John S. Mocker Then my senior. dad's junior. Oh. My brother's the third. And you're the outcast? And my nephew is the fourth. Ah, and you guys are the fourth? I'm the Justin. I'm the, <laughs> you're the Justin. I'm not a John. No, 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 no. I'm not no, a no, 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 no. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. You're, 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 I'm not a John. No, 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 no. You're just Justin. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> if you I don't am. know, if you don't know, Justin, by the way, for a while was going by the stage name Just Justin. Because he was basically only doing black rooms at that time. And for whatever reason, Essenmacher is just not a name that no one can pronounce it. And they all go, very good they go, they all, and they all come up to me and they go, What's how do you pronounce it? I go, Justin Essenmacher. And they go, Huh? I go, Justin Essenmacher. And they go, Oh, man. To be, to be right. fair, white people are equally bad at pronouncing it. However, you know who pronounces it better than even anyone in your family? My mom, Essenmacher. That's how she says it. It's fucking beautiful. You would love it. Oh, I would. It's tremendous. You would love it. No, but to, to John Essenmacher. Senior. Fucking senior, man. I poured yeah, too yeah. much in this bitch. Yeah, you did. Mm. Man, I hope it. I, honestly, you know what would be sweet? If he beats this shit and gets to see you perform. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. You know, they stop like watch my grandpa. And the, you know, they can stop my family. Like, some of my family like stop watching my shit. Stop watching what? Stop watching me. You know, I used to run my own show, um, like my first three years of comedy. And they stopped um, coming to your show? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, Sorry, dude. That's fucking hilarious. Dude. They stopped coming to your show. In this small town, dude? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. so fucking funny. Well, that's so fucking funny. Well, because when I started, man, you know, you try whatever because you think of it's fucking, and you're like, oh, I'm going to talk about this and this in front of my family. And it, you think it's funny because it's just so outrageously stupid and it's about yeah. sex and and just rock genitalia. And, rock and yeah. The genitalia jokes are always rough in front of the fam, dude. Dude, I did it. I mean, like. My mom came and watched me, and she she watched me my one set, and I talked to people comics because I'm brand new, yeah. fucking stupid, trying to get any information, and people are like, dude, you can't hold back on what you're doing, man. You can't hold back, yeah, man. Even if it's your family, you can't hold back. And I was like, so I'm on stage, and I'm I every time <laughs> every time I've done my show, like in my hometown where everybody knows me, I've always bombed dick. So. <laughs> Like, like, so like, so like, I'm like, so I got up on stage and I was like, oh, I'm a seasoned host. I've been doing this shit for eight months and I'm running my own show and my mom's there watching me. And, um, the next thing, you know, it's like I'm on stage and I, and, and, and I'm like, should I do it? Should I do it? And I'm like, well, everybody said, don't hold back. So I get on stage and I look at the whole crowd and I'm like. I, this is the story. I, I, this is verbatim how the story went. Um, <laughs> I look at the crowd and I go, yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. I, I go, uh, so you're, <laughs> you're in the, you're in the bathroom. I was in the bathroom taking a piss and I was just uh, looking at my phone. And the next thing you know, I'm, I'm pissing in the stall, you know, and 
I it it sounds it sounds like there's just water getting sprayed everywhere. Come on. And I go, and I'm like, what is Seriously? happening right now? What is happening? I'm peeing. The, I'm, a, I'm peeing into the toilet. And I'm like, I hear shit spraying. Am I pissing in the toilet or what's going on? And I look shut, and I'm pissing straight on my balls. And the water's to the piss is just fucking spraying on my balls. Oh god damn it! And and I said this in front of my mom. Oh god! And <laughs> I said this in front of my mom. And my mom doesn't drink alcohol at all. That night, that woman drank like four or five shots. She was so drunk. I felt so bad. Oh, my God. Your mom who, I said, do- I, your mom who doesn't drink got wasted, wasted. because of she your comedy. She was so embarrassed. Oh, it was, oh my, my God. Grandpa dude, doesn't, that's my, awesome, grandpa, my grandpa doesn't come to my comedy because uh, he every time my comedy show is coming up, it's it's a, my show starts. Did you have a like, heart attack? My, no, my show starts at like eight o'clock, and my grandpa there, and then they're like, "Grandpa's tired. He can't. <laughs> he, he can't." Oh my god, dude! This or or is so he would get, or awesome. or my grandpa would get sick. Grandpa's not feeling well. Oh my god, dude! That's awesome. Holy and my grandma, shit! Holy but my grandma, shit, but my grandma loves watching my comedy. She thinks I'm going to be a oh, star. I know your grandma loves. She thinks you, I'm going to be a star. Your grandma. My we grandma we talked to your grandma, grandma on the phone the other day when we we're going to uh, we we're going to through Laurel Canyon to Hollywood, man. And she was all just like, "Well, Justin, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, you're a funny guy, and you know, you'd have made a great doctor because you're so darn good looking." Uh, <laughs> I know that's. A lot no, of a grandparent. Like, You're so good looking. Yeah, dude. You would make a great doctor. Yeah, dude. Your ma, your grandma is just like he's just such a cute boy. He's just such a cute I boy. said it too. I said uh, it up because I wanted to compliment. So I was like, yeah, grandma. You're literally I'm grandma's boy. Right? Isn't that a movie? Didn't they make grandma's boy? They did. That's my you, grandma, bro. My my grandma is the best because. You're her favorite when you're the only one in the room. It's oh, so, I love it. She makes you feel special. I've heard that about The Rock. Like, if you ever meet The Rock, he makes you feel, or Arnold Schwarzenegger, I've heard that too. I would love too. to meet The Rock. Like, like it, I, apparently when you meet Arnold Schwarzenegger for those five seconds that you get to meet him, he makes you feel like you are the most important person in the world. Like, you're that, ah, oh, it's nice to meet you. And he just <laughs> fucking, that's what I've heard, dude. And I've heard The Rock is the same way, dude. Like, and I'm sure. I like, have seen some videos of The Rock and he is, I would, I would love to meet that man. And Kevin Hart. Yeah. I the you know, you know that's Kevin what's Hart crazy. If we'd have said anything to Kevin Hart when we saw him, I he would have he would have been like, You guys are kind of you just got I, he would have been it would have been sweet. He would have he would have taken time out of his day, but we were too much of pussies to say I anything went, to dude, him. Dude, I went numb. It was my I, I, know, man, I, I, I was, was just, just like I was getting out I of my car. I looked at you and then I, I looked like, at the car and then I looked at you and then I looked at so, the car and then I looked at you and I'm like, my, this, this isn't happening. This is my second week back in LA. We're going to uh, watch our buddy Mike Eshack film a, a 15 minute set for Revolt TV, P. Diddy's thing, yeah. P. Diddy's comedy thing. And uh, he's fucking on Dude, the way shot, there. Shot some Mike Eshack. Yeah, you want to do a shot for Mike Eshack? Let's do a shot. We'll do a shot I for Mike Eshack. When that show comes out. Um, yeah, Mike Eshack is hilarious. And we were, we were going there to watch it. We go into this parking garage, downtown Hollywood. And uh, as soon as valet, we know it's valet. Valet parking. We just saw parking structure. We were running late, so we pulled in, right? $15, whatever. We'll pay it. Let's go. We fucking pull in with my shit minivan. And as we give the valet my keys, right next to us is Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart and a beautiful woman. Kevin Hart in His the best wife. suit, the most beautiful suit I've ever seen. Oh getting in the God. back of a Maybach. And we just looked at him like, Blah. Like we just hey, no, like nothing, dude. I was just that I, dude was five foot three, but looked. I saw his tall, wife dude. come out first, and I'm like, that girl looks familiar. And then the next thing, he comes out, ha ha, and I was just like, no fucking. You way. pointed him out to me. I I he's my idol, and I'm just like, oh, holy shit. That was the, well, the first time I saw Joe Rogan. I kind of felt like that. There have been a couple times where I saw Joe Rogan, and and I, I I'm not proud of this, but I got a little bit hard. Uh, <laughs> Cheers. He was on it, if you could say. I was on some Joe Rogan, but that one was to Mike Eshack. Mike Eshack, the Yemeni's Joe Rogan. Um, 
<laughs> dude, he is like Yemeni Joe. He is Yemeni Joe Rogan, bro. I he swear really to God. Is. He's the he's same like, height. Dude, dude, if you do enough mushrooms, he's, dude, you can like be happy. Dude. I swear to God. He's, I did Micronos, he's, dude. He's the, <laughs> I Micronos it, dude. I'm like, I fucking am happy all the time. He's the same height, basically. He's he the same build. Right? Same build. In terms of his fucking like, his comedy's not the same. Like, he has his own style and shit, but uh, like, he's, he's, you know, very masculine guy. You know, I think he also does jujitsu. Like, does Rogan. he do? I don't know. He I looks like it. Start it, dude. He was dude, a marine. Uh, he was a marine. He was a or... fucking marine, bro. Yeah, right? He was a marine, right? I hope I didn't say he's that. A, wrong yeah, way. he he's, he he was a marine, dude. He fucking served. We should do another chef for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we gotta fucking drink this beer. Uh, also, uh, this is this also sponsored by Wine Stefana. Rita yeah. Sport and uh, Rita Sport and, and, and Wine Stefana. Wine Stefana. The goddamn gro- the grocery Cheers. store. Ooh, ooh, that's a good beer. The grocery store around the corner has all the German shit that I grew up on, like Wein Stefana beer. And uh, he did. So I had, His I, mom I, drank it while she was pregnant. No, my dad. That's why he's retarded. No, my dad. My dad. He would drink, you know, his beer. And my dad's not a big drinker, but when he would have a beer, you pour a big German beer. It has a big foam head on it, right? He'd let me sip the foam when I was a little baby. <laughs> I don't think that helped hey, me at yeah, all. And Marcus is definitely not an alcoholic now, Dad. It's cool. I am a hundred percent now an alcoholic. An alcoholic. I oh fuck, dude. Um, this is great. Your girlfriend's passed out on the couch. She's snoring. Sleeping. It's oh, so cute. You. Um, <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, yeah, you, man. Uh, we got. <laughs> this this week has sucked. Yeah, like we this. didn't even get into the goddamn week. Okay, so that's so we showed up late to the improv. Then we go over to the kibitz room and we fucking sit there for four. Oh my god, we got hours. there early. We got there early. Put our names and then in the hat. We realize it's a clean Jewish mic. Yeah, I don't know why I said, Jew, but they're Jew. It's a Jewish mic, right? It was a Jewish mic. It was a Jewish mic. And you go up, and we get there early. We were, like, within the first fucking eight people. I, that was the problem. We got pulled two and a half we put hours. Our name, yeah, we, we put did. our name at the bottom of the hat like idiots, right? I think lottery, I don't want to give the secret up because if you any of you people are listening to this, that are like, we, there's tricks to the trade, I think. It doesn't matter. There's a I couple think things. Like, I wanna, out. Let's put it out of there because I feel the like if it. you put it in late, like, I did it you today. You always want to put your name today. in late. I did it today. I got called, like. Within two minutes of being there. Yep. I did it last week. I got called early. You know, another thing I do, if they give you multiple receipts, always put your name on and put it in the bucket on the longest receipt. Yeah. Every time I put in, because sometimes they give you, they give you three receipts. They give you a little one. They give you a big one to sign and a big one to keep. This you, is like, this you is put like your counting fucking, cards. It is. We got to count cards. You, you know what? Mics. You know what happened the other fucking day? We did this mic. Me and Jenny uh, went and did Sycamore Tavern. Well, we should fucking. What night was this? This was uh, this was Saturday night. We went there. Uh, the guy was doing bribes, so I gave Jenny a dollar. <coughs> she gives it to him. She goes up next, but he's like, "I got to pull one to be fair, right?" Pulls my name out because I had the big long receipt and put it in last. Fucking boom! Got the fuck out of there, man. Went to Garage Mike. It was yeah. gen- it was beautiful, man. But really- you know the other trick? I realized this, man. When they give you all those receipts, save them. And you know what I found out the other day when me and Jenny went? Uh, I They give you three receipts sometimes. They got to give one back with the tip. One for me, one for her. Boom. Out of there. Four dollars. With the you know $3 drink, dollar tip on the drink. Get the fuck out of there. Two people. That's how you fucking See, do it, man. Yeah. That's the game. Marcus, if you guys didn't know, he... Um, I know he is from Germany, but he yes, he is also Wein Jewish. Stefana. He's Jewish. But I splurged um, on my survived, chocolates. He Look. survived World War II. Uh, my parents did. Or my grandparents. Uh, Kinder Schokolade. Got this shit on deck, too. Yeah. This shit is Can do chocolate. I grew up on this shit, Can do chocolate. This shit is so fucking dynamite. Um, come do chocolate. We love. <laughs> we got it. We got it. We love. We yes. Love. Hey, yes. we got it. Yes, I give two thumbs up. Chocolata. This shit is so fucking good. It man. actually was really good. I have, a cavity, I have a cavity right here, right? I think. And every time a sweet thing hits it, it just hurts. Damn, bro. It sucks. Because I think I brushed you hard. I think, you know, you rubbed it that down. Yo, know, we got to switch over the tape. Because this podcast was made in the 1820s. So we got to flip the tape on okay. this shit. It only lets me do 30 minutes at a time. I didn't know we were in the 1820s. 1820s. Women can't even vote yet. That's a good time. Switch it over. Switch it over. Yeah, we need to do this shot real quick. 
I'm so <laughs> to, to the shop, bro. To Saul. To Saul. Oh, the, vo- right, the bag's just... down there. It's down there. I am so going to regret tomorrow. You're going to regret it, but the point is, oh, you're pre-chasing, you fucking vagina head. Dude, I'm so fucked up <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 cheers it though. Cheers it. We gotta do the cheers. I gotta edit this whole fucking thing. This is gonna be a disaster. Okay, so uh welcome back. We fucked up the recording. No, no, two no, times. no. Two times. Not we. I Marcus, who runs the podcast, I fucked it let up. me into his world and said I'm the co-host, puts me into this terrible production. Where he decides to unplug the fucking computer. He decides no. to unplug the fucking camera. He decides to not delete the footage on the camera so we can't use the camera. So now we're in this fucking predicament of what's the thing between heaven and hell? Paragatory. Parallelograms. No. Paragatory. Purgatory. Purgatory. Pepperoni pizza. Uh, Papa John? Me, my, this came out. I'm so sorry. To the Dude, crowd. you know the best part is? We deleted that whole half hour where I burped the whole time. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it just came out. I didn't even mean it. It just came out. There were some good parts of that podcast, man. We'll there was a really it. good podcast. There, there was half of it that was good. There was the so first, much good to it. So I think, I don't know, like, we're going to have to listen <laughs> to this. Uh, we should just use the iPad footage probably. Yeah. It's deleted because we couldn't record otherwise. You deleted it? It had You're to be. an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot. Hey, guys. I'm an uh, idiot. If you ever want to start um, a production, so we gotta go. don't use Marcus as your man because he will fuck it up. Hey, man. I am the man. This podcast is called Drunk as a uh, Fuck. This podcast is called Drunk at Open Mics, which you were tonight, and I have been before. But my point I, is. But I wasn't drunk at the first one. Uh, yeah, I was, actually. You were drunk at. Okay, so tonight we'll go in reverse order. At Sycamore, you got drunk, and then we went to the comedy store, right? I just had like half a drink before you got on stage. But you bought a fucking vodka, what? Cranberry? Yeah, it was like my whole You bought a $12 vodka drink, bro. It was my whole bro. bank account. It was my He whole bought a, and he got drunk off that shit, because he is a pussy. You call it out right, Megan. There's no problem with that. We got a fucking Megan the Stallion over there. White Megan, white Megan Mexican the Stallion. Megan. She wears shorts that don't fit her every day. She just buys the, the shorts. She goes, I'm going to go to the kids section. She doesn't fit in the kids section. Well, you go in the lumberjack section no, and you don't I fit in the lumberjack he section. Nice yeah. He, fit, he fits in the special clearance section. The short oh. the short rack. Hey, you know where Marcus fits in? The garbage. He fits. He, that's where oh, he gets man. his clothes roasted. February 25th, I'm coming for you, bitch. <laughs> I love that you got that drunk plug out for February 25th. <laughs> he comes up with a half-baked roast and he's like, oh yeah, remember, come to the comedy store to see those fucking half-baked Yo, roasts. Yo, dude, it's all about the 25th. That's all I care about. That's all I care about in my life right now. I'm coming for Marcus. He doesn't even know what to expect. He's an uncircumcised piece of shit. I fucking hate him. <laughs> 25th, it's all going down at the comedy store. I swear to God, I'm going to take his beard, cut it off, make him eat it shit on his face, and call him a piece of shit in front of a live crowd. Come out and see it the 25th, because Marcus sucks. What do you, you got, Do you bitch? approve that message? I approve that message. That's that. Wow. Okay. Cheers to that, Heineken. <laughs> You driving tonight? You should go drive somewhere. I definitely would. Because you know what? If I fucking died tonight, I wouldn't have to deal with your ass anymore. That's what I'm saying. The 25th. Come out. See me destroy his ass. Wow. He hasn't said one thing back yet. Don't no, worry about it. I don't it. need to. You keep hey, come yourself to the 25th. A hole. Hey, come to the 25th. Maybe he'll write something by then. Oh. Yeah. Um, Roasted. But if you're looking for something to do before the 25th, I'm in Glendale tonight, uh, January 28th. And then I'm down. I'm I'm I'm, uh, in, I'm in Inglewood at the Backyard Battle, February fifteenth. So check that out. He's down there making and, food. Uh, He's at, not doing comedy. Yeah, no, I'm down there doing comedy, and uh, I I think it's I think there's a little rap at the end of it. I think it's I think yeah, I, I think at the end I hope of it's it, not for mo. 
No, it's if not. If you guys ever want to look at for some good line. rap list, new music, rap listen label. to M.O. Yeah. Um, he does a great uh, Well, why don't we plug track. your Why don't we plug your music? You could definitely plug my music if you can What's find What's your it. music? Yeah, you my can't even find yours. My music is 10 better than yours. Is it? My music has way more plays than you. Even my live video has more plays than your shitty ass one that you paid two thousand dollars for. Yeah, I dance. Mine, in the mine's video. better though. It's not better. I hey, but I appreciate you helping me out with that, yo, Nux. No, because that was fun. It was. Fun. Did you have fun? I did have fun. Yeah, the only, that the only, was fun. The only thing that sucked was the music. But roasted <laughs> the twenty fifth. Fuck bitch. you. The twenty fifth. Bitch, it's going down. Fuck you, dude. Oh my god. Oh, you're right. But fuck, man, that was real. That was good. That was good. You that was pretty it. good. It was fun though. It was actually. Fun. We had a time. That was like the first thing. It that was we... fun, especially when we wrapped the whole fucking thing up, <laughs> and we didn't have to do it anymore. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah, the 25th, hey, that's going down, I yo, swear to God. Yo. This kid's my bitch, I swear to God. He, let's do a shot to the Rose Battle, bitch. All right. Let's do it. Why are we getting doing this to us? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I love about vodka. There's a certain point where you get over the hump of you're drunk. We're just going to kill ourselves tomorrow because it's going to be so painful. <laughs> I'm not going to get one out to sleep because right, I'm going to be tossing and turning, like just hot and heavy. Cheers yeah. to the fucking 25th where I fucking yeah. kick your ass, bitch. Yeah, I bet you wish you would. I <laughs> That went down the wrong pipe off bat, dude. Oh my god! And I think, I think the Red Bull me. and everything with the vodka. Well, you're drinking. I wish I fuck man. If I had red, no, I can't be drinking. It. Drink okay. it. So, if you guys didn't know, 25th is going down. This is all promo shit. Uh, cause Dana White told us we gotta do it. Right? Yeah, and if you want to put your logo up here, man, you can still do that. Dana, I have Dana for two. Uh, Dana, cookies. Dana White for two. Uh, UFC three thirty. Uh, you could probably put it up here for five, at least like five grand. But okay, so we fucked up the. Let's still get there. Can we get through the mic? We, we, we got a lot of this. I don't like any of it. We need. To, we don't need to cut any of this part. <laughs> <laughs> We'll cut some of the other shit, but this is dynamite. This is gold, bro. Uh, <laughs> Kibitz room. This is going to be like when we get like the podcast to a good level. People are going to be like, did you listen to the podcast too when Justin became the co-host? <laughs> where they get too fucked up to, co- <laughs> to, to make the podcast. No, this is like when, he, when Elon Musk was on Joe Rogan. <laughs> They lost that recording too. They had to re smoke that <laughs> weed, dude. Did they? <laughs> no, dude. Dude, no, remember when didn't. Elon Musk made a bulletproof window that a stone broke? That was funny. That's like this podcast when you fucked up. Yeah, I fucked no, up hard. Up. Here, take a half. That's the thing about <laughs> that's the thing about German chocolate. It's in shareable pieces. This is communist chocolate. It's in shareable little bricks of chocolate. <laughs> Germany understands sharing. We don't understand love or humor very well, but we know how to make beer cars uh, and, and equal size chocolate. Uh, 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 <laughs> Look at this return. Over here. He's snorting like a piglet, dude. Oh. He's fucking, oh my God, bro. Okay, so. Speaking of that, let's get back to the open. So we did this Jewish room. <laughs> we did the kibitz room. Fuck the kibitz room, dude. We got there early and got up late. Oh man, we gave see all that advice we gave about how to how to do a, a lottery open mic. Oh, so Nobody's gonna ever see it, and that's perfect. So in the in the audio that we lost, we did a bunch of great coverage on how to get up earlier at a fucking we lottery open mic. We were unveiling the fucking. We were doing that shit like the magician thing where he's yeah. Like, the comedy tricks. gods didn't want that secret out though. They did. So they they unplugged it. They unplugged it. The comedy gods unplugged it, bro. Then we did Unseen Contemporary, the art gallery that Justin I loves to bomb ass. at. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> we did the pizza show <sighs> at the Sycamore. Remember the pizza show? The upstairs. We got to do upstairs dojo. Oh, we do, yeah, I like that pizza, too. I like the pizza most. The pizza was great. I loved it, pizza. I wanted to steal some more. It was, was a like, $5 slice of pizza, though. That was maybe it was. 
Because it was a $5, yeah. What was crazy? The the sauce, dude. It I was, liked it. The sauce was like, I was like, I would rather pay $5 for a slice like that than $5 for a whole hot and ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because you know I'd rather just buy the dude, hot and ready. Dude, when I was home for the holidays, you know what I did? Hot and ready? So, no. Well, for our New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, um, our family, we wanted to, we do homemade pizzas. Yeah. And uh, uh, the one thing I wanted to make, I talked about it. I don't know how it came up, but I wanted to make a white pizza. <laughs> oh, with Alfredo sauce? Yeah. So I looked it up and my mom was talking. And then uh, and then I was like, they started saying shit. And I was like, oh, that's too much work. And then like, well, you can also microwave. And I said, hell yeah. I made the best white pizza I've ever had. I made an Alfredo sauce in the microwave. And then <laughs> <laughs> you made the Alfredo sauce in the microwave? Yeah, that dude, doesn't I sound like it's going to be good pizza. Dude, I mean, dude it was... The, was it, it was fucking dude, it ragu? Was, no, dude. It, this... Prego? I mean, it was all homemade. It was all homemade? It was all homemade. homemade? It was all How the homemade. fuck do you make white sauce? Dude, so the the white sauce was fucking great, dude. It was so good. Oh, so God. what we did... So This what is we, how shit gets unplugged, you cunt. It wasn't me. So it was... Uh, <laughs> so uh, what was... It, it, it goes butter... We did Daddy. some feta, and then we did cream cheese and parmesan, and God you me- and you damn. microwave that. You mix that around there, and then he also my my brother had a uh, the we had the fucking uh, uh, what's the one ricotta cheese, dude, and Whoa. the other one, dude, and I flicked that all over it. It was so fucking. I had white. I had a white pizza. I made a homemade pizza. You made a white pizza Christmas? I made a homemade white pizza. It was so good. It was one of my favorite pizzas from New York. I love it. From New York? Say New York again. New York. Okay, there you go. Excuse me. I like shit. I love white pizza is like one of my favorites from like New York. I love that style. And when I went to Vegas on the way here, dude. I had a Cosmopolitan. That's a hidden gem that my brother told me about. And I was hungry. But uh it was so good. If That's a, like, I mean, I love like the fourth floor, or third floor, and it's like a hidden gem, dude. Seriously, this is one that, like, if you go to, I would love to go there. Like <laughs> now that I feel like okay, you got to not go to, hungover uh, because the pizza there was so good. It was straight New York style. It was better than New York, and it's a hidden gem. If you go up on like the third or the fourth floor of the Cosmopolitan in Vegas, you go up there. And we should go to pictures, Vegas soon. It's, I would love to if you have money. The only oh. thing, the reason to go to Vegas is if you have money. There's no other, <laughs> there's no other reason to go to Vegas unless you have money. That's or, the reason or to have fun there. You either you have money or you're Robert Johnson the third. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna definitely go with money. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, have to go with money. Definitely go with money, dude. Shout out Robert Johnson. Yeah. Shout out Ro- Shout thing. out money team. Shout out money team. Shout out money team. Uh, <laughs> fucking also fuck you, Robert. For uh, I texted the kid before I got to Vegas uh, a few days before. Yeah. And before, I texted, before, prior. Prior. And <laughs> I told him, prior. I told this piece of shit. Word. I go. I go. I go. Hey man, I'm gonna be in Vegas. Blah blah blah. Because I know he wasn't going to text me back. So I texted him a few days prior before I got there. And then I got there. And then, of course, the motherfucker texts me as soon as I'm in California. I leave base. I make it to California. He's like, oh, hey, where are you at? And I was like, in California now, bitch. Dude, I remember when I was first getting into, like, gr- the comedy grind. Robert Johnson III would always go up first at New Way. Yeah. And I remember being like, bro, how do you get to go up first? And he's like, I just ask. I used and to I was it. like, what? I he's like, yeah, I'm just there ready to go. And I just ask. And if he if he forgets who's up next and you're just there, you might get to go up next. I do that all the time. I do that all the time there. Yeah, I started doing that too. I did Robert all the time because I just like, I'm like, I don't even want to be there. And I just go up. Despite how bad of a capitalist he is, I have learned from the man. And I almost got a headshot from him until I realized I could get a better one from someone else. No, I I had a Robert Johnson the third headshot for a minute. Then Your I shaved my head. Your headshots all suck. I hate every Fuck headshot. Fuck you. Hey, come Your back headshots make you look confused. Your headshots suck. I hate them. I hate all of your headshots. I hate everything you do. You somebody. hate my head. That's no. different than hating it's my not. headshot. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Look at I'm Marcus. Ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. I'm Marcus. <laughs> okay. I'm Justin. You, you ready for this? I'm Justin. One, two, three. How am I not a model? 
It's the Samuel. fuck you look like. Samuel. That's hey the face you're making right hey now. Guys, hey guys, That's the face you're hey making guys, right now. New photographer, I'm Marcus. Are you guys ready for my real headshot that I always use? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> no, here it is. There it is. Fucking, you seen it first here. Fucking, he sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. You know what, Justin? I'm sorry. Yeah, you I should have... be sorry for ruining the podcast because you got rid of all of our dude. Gold. Fuck you, man. Honestly, I don't even know what the fuck happened. That shit got fucking unplugged. Now you're mad at me, bitch. I don't fucking know. Get your own shit. He was the original host, maybe because I, I remember helped him fuck out. You. Hey, first of all, I remember when I was fucking driving out here. I was on the phone with you, and you were like, "You know what? I really want to do when I when when you get out here, man. I really want to do a podcast. You know what I fucking said? Yeah, man. You want to do my podcast? And you were like, Bleh? and now you're a cunt about it. Fuck you. I made you co-host, bitch. Fuck you. You made me co-host because you needed me to be co-host. No, it's a better podcast with two people. Oh, really? <clears throat> you say that, huh? Yeah. You shot a burp in my face. Yep. Wow. This is honestly, you, you, you know what I realized, me. bro? While you said you needed bro, me, bro. you needed me. That's this what you said. The gay shit you I'm needed gonna... me. I did. And this is the gay shit about it, man. You know, no TV show works if there's no couple. Who the fuck wants to watch a single guy who never dates? It's true. I would never want to watch you. I don't even want to watch you right now. I would rather watch me. Like, if you get green screen, you would fuck up. <laughs> I just want to watch me, dude. <laughs> I'd rather watch me, dude. Yeah, dude I'm fuck fucking, you. Look at me, dude. I'm fucking sexy, bro. Come on. Only dude. to your grandma. Exactly. I'm yeah. sexy. Yeah, and you don't fuck old chicks, so I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> hey, dude, we, get, we got a lot of this shit out of the way about you and your family, though. I don't know, man. Last I don't know. We're gonna have to go I don't like. I'm not like anything that's happening in my life right now. At all. I know, man, and that's that's what sucks, dude. And that's why it was fun. That was my favorite part about the comedy store tonight. Is we got to go in, we got to sit and watch. I know you got kicked out of your seat at the at the store, but we did get to go in and we got to sit and watch Kill Tony. I, you were laughing hard. I was laughing hard. Jenny was laughing hard. Was like so we were all laughing, and I was so happy I was about happy. it. Yeah, I was very happy. It was it fucking made me dope. Feel, man. It made me feel good today. Like that was made me happy, and like didn't it made me forget about a lot of shit. Yeah, like that uh, comedy office show on the twenty third last Thursday. Oh, and I bombed. Yeah, worst set of the night. I had second worst though. Yeah, you're com- we're competing. But that 20, was a brutal. But on the twenty fifth, guess what? You are going to have the worst set. I'm going to kick your ass. Um, you have no shot, and whoever respected you will not respect you after the twenty fifth because I'm going Dude. to make you my little bitch, Yo. and you have no right to even talk to me. And I don't even want Trust to talk it. to you right now. Shut the fuck up. Yo, the twenty fifth is when you get to talk to me again. As, the 25th is when you get started. Well, that's going to make the podcast The real 25th hard to do. is when you get started Fuck again, bitch. You. The 25th is when Marcus Olin will get to hey, talk to me again. Up the mic, bro. Come this on. little bitch. As I was walking out of the You're comedy so store. You're so good yo, at, yo, You're a, so at, good at hey. making it for the show. Hey. You're so good at going with it. You idiot. As we were walking out of Kill Tony, walking past the original room, you know who I saw walking down those stairs? <laughs> The chick who got roasted super hard at that one roast battle we went to. Heather. Her name's Heather. The girl who got roasted by that guy with a mar- fake martini. That yeah, guy. The, the, the most legendary that guy, I roast. About, that guy, that guy's, uh, his name's Luke, I think. Or, uh, I, yeah, I saw him on Luke fucking or Leo. Instagram or something. I saw him at the Sycamore. Yeah. And I talked to him. And uh, I told him about our roast battle. And I told him about his. And he's like, uh, I talked to him about the yeah, shit, yeah, what yeah. we should do. And, got his number. Uh, you guys going had, out? But the guy just said, no, he just talked about, uh, like, that girl and shit and, uh, like, how she deserved, like, what she got. Hell yeah, dude. That's fucking awesome. What'd he say? I forget. I'm- Damn it. Justin fucking, fucking it up, man. Hey, don't worry. You might be able to, you might unplug your computer again. We might lose it all. Well, if we, dude, I, I swear to God. Hey, guys, don't we worry. To- He's wearing his cool hat, Cosmic Cookies. You're yeah. so hip and neat. Hey, see, if you want to... if Did we mention the sponsorship? Properties? I don't know. Cosmic Cookies, if you really if, want your podcast you want out there... your name I up mean, here, <laughs> we're cheap. You can get your name up here for a dollar at this point. We're really? like... And now that we're drunk, like... <laughs> <laughs> Even if you just want to give us your name, we'll just put it up. We'll there. put your shit up just to work on our green screen technology. Yeah, right. for real. Right now, because Marcus isn't gonna do anything. I'm gonna have to do you, it, bro. I'm gonna have to do it. You know what? Honestly, this podcast honestly, is the worst. Honestly, and suck also, my balls. Marcus put 14 beers in a cooler. We drink two of them. 
We'll yeah. fucking drink another one. Thank Let's you. go. I didn't even finish signing. I'll drink we'll it. Drink. You're over here bitching about how I'm not drinking beer as you're also not drinking beer. All right. I don't need to hear this shit. And nobody wants to hear about that shit because that's some bullshit. All right. God, dude. People these days, man. I can't fucking. That's what I can't fucking stand. Dude, is the future is just people being pussies and bitches and ass fuck motherfuckers. And all the technology isn't even what the fuck we were fucking promised, man. And everyone's a cunt. Everybody's a cunt. Doesn't matter if you have a cop, dude. You're a cock cunt. Everyone's a fucking cunt. Yeah, they're cock cunts. That's a new word that I can't fucking. Uh, I'm over it, bro. I'm over 2020. Kobe's dead. I can't fucking do it anymore. See, we lost all our Kobe, our whole Kobe conversation, man. And all I wanted to say about Kobe was, man, remember when he jumped over that car? Well, Nobody I, does. A lot of people have jumped over cars. Oh. I jumped over a car. <laughs> you didn't jump over a car. You jumped over a car? To not die. What? To not die. I had this to jump a over situation. a car, yeah. I'm talking about when Kobe was promoting the hyper dunks. But yeah, whatever, I to, bro. Yeah, I had to jump into a whatever. Ditch. I had to jump into dude. a ditch when a drunk driver was like coming at us like, oh. at, like 70 miles an hour. Whoa. I forgot cool. you're from the fucking you're from the goddamn streets. From the hood, dude. Dude, my house been broken in three times. Yeah. I had to die. By in you car. when you were drunk and couldn't find your key. <laughs> I'm not like you, Marcus. I remember my keys at all times. I do too. I always have my keys. Yeah, you definitely do. Do you also remember to plug in your computer when you're recording you. a podcast? Hey guys, if you're ever I'm recording never gonna a podcast, hear the end of this shit. If, dude. If I Marcus will never ever, ever if hear Marcus the end ever of says it. he can record your podcast for a minimum amount of money, just say hey, just do it for free because he'll probably forget to fucking plug in the equipment. Dude, this shit was plugged in and I got up. To do something and it got unplugged. And I you know what I'm excited it. about? You know what I'm excited about? I'm excited to film something on Saturday. I've been wanting to film with the dude forever, Sam Silverstein. I'm filming something with him on Saturday. But the funny thing is, I have to also give up my America's Got Talent audition, which you weren't gonna get on America's Got Talent. Do you not think do you? But you might think like, what if I also could get on America's Got Talent? Why would you? I would love to get on America's Got Talent. Why would they? Why would they? Oh NBC. What is special about you? Have you seen my face? Every day. Look at it. Have you seen? (laughs) God, it's so awful to look at. But I've looked. Are you you serious? This not America's Got Talent face. I don't have a good face. Not for TV. I told you, radio, bro. You've got a good right. You're doing radio voice again. Are you seriously saying I don't have a good looking face? <laughs> I love the way you asked that. Comment if I <laughs> comment if you think he's ugly or not. <laughs> if you think Justin's ugly, <laughs> right? You, write Ugo it. in the comments. If Hashtag you Ugo Justin. Hashtag twenty twenty. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go Justin. Dude, 2020. Bro, yes, you're fucking fugly, bro. You are. Fu- I am not you fugly, fugly, dude. You're a dick, man. You're fucking. You're a fucking fugly. asshole, dude. I hate you. Yeah, you're an ass face, though. <laughs> Look at that stash. What is that? A fucking a landing strip for my balls? You fucking idiot, dude. What do you fucking need that stash for? I know dude, I got a beard. beard is but... your beard a fucking net for ball sex? You just catch any of them that are falling your no, way? No, dude. I just catch. Fuck you, I dude. catch pussy juice with it, and then I put it in the freezer Ew. and freeze it and suck Ew. it like a popsicle. Yeah, this is the thing you have to deal with. He's talking about Nancy. He, he, he always ruins comedy with trying to be <laughs> smart. How was that smart? Ooh, I said pussy juice. I'm going to catch pussy juice in my That's beard. That's not smart, guy. And then I'm going to oh, freeze it, and then I'm going to use it like a pudding an pop. Idiot. Pudding pop. He's an idiot. <laughs> I was trying to make a Bill Cosby bit dirty. You know what I wish Bill Cosby did? He drugged you. Overdosed you. I wish that, So too. you die. That would have been hype. So he didn't have to have it. So he didn't murder anyone. Murder you. He raped people. I know. I hope he overdosed you. There's All I want, I want Bill Cosby big, to overdose you. Dude. The difference between rape and murder is like pretty big. <laughs> Although rape and murder happens sometimes where you rape and then you murder or then you murder and rape. 
that happens too sometimes. Depends how you how you play the game, you know. I I play the game. Um, you rape first or murder first? If you're gonna rape murder someone, what do you do first? Murder or rape first? Truth, this is like truth and dare. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I think everybody knows the answer to that. You I rape think. first, right? Also, I'm not trying to fuck a dead body. Ew. Yeah, but yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, uh, and, and why are you put me in this? You I don't idiot. know. I'm sorry, bro. Because that would be fucking like I don't. I would never want to rape you. Because that, like, why did you bring this up? I'm not part of the bro. You rape culture Kazi. is so bad in 2020. Oh my man. god, dude, rape culture ain't shit. Kobe's dead. He's a hero now. He didn't rape that chick. He didn't. She. Here's what I'm saying. I. I don't know what I'm fucking saying. <laughs> You cut this. Cut. cut. <laughs> Leaving it just to show your awkward face. No, but like if you had to rape someone before you murdered them or murder before you rape, if you had to, like hypothetically, you had, like at gunpoint, you're going to die if you don't make a decision. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I rape like this person's going to die either way, right? Like you're being forced to do this either way. Would you rather fuck a dead body or rape a live person and then after you fuck them, after you make love, murder them? That's some fucked up shit, bro. Um, so. <laughs> and that's, a, that's a, I don't, I don't even know where you'd go with that. I would just let him kill me. At that point, dude. I don't know. I think, fuck, like, I have the power. Man. The thing I think. That's fucked up. The thing that I think I have the power of, like, if I was to be caught, like, now that I'm thinking of it, I would definitely feel like be able to annoy the person to where they, they're going to kill me or let me free. <laughs> so, like, either way, I'm going <laughs> to They free. would hear your laugh. Either way, I'm going to get free. I'm going to be like, yo, dude, you want to fucking, you want to fuck with me? Let's go. Yeah. I'm like, and it's going to be like. If you were oh, if you were a prisoner, they would shoot you so quick because they would hear you so, laugh one time so and be like, way, "No, can't deal with it. Yeah, can't deal with it." So gotta either way, him. Dude, I'm gotta shoot, shoot him in the face, and they'd fucking shoot you in the face, man. God damn it, dude! I got fucked up right there, man. We got fucking, we got dark. We got to take a shot just to get past that, bro. We got, we got do two we sure, minutes. Sure, I'm gonna do one. You want to do one? We got two minutes. Two minutes, we might as well do another 30 minutes. You want to do another th- a 90 minute? Nobody's nobody's watching at yeah, this no point. Yeah, nobody's watching, yeah. If you're watching so at this up, point, but what else are we doing? take a shot and look up Cookie cr- Cosmic Cookies uh, and Jaguar Twin. I'm going to put Jaguar Twin. See where I'm pointing? This is going to say Jaguar Twin. <laughs> also, no. also, tomorrow it's going to rain. <laughs> Right here, you're going to see a traffic jam on the 405 and the 115 right here. And this is where Kobe's helicopter went down up here. I don't know. I don't condone what Marcus said. Okay, that was fucked up. That was fucked up. It was too soon. But this is coming out on Tuesday. It's happening Sunday. Come on. When can you make a joke? No, no. This is where 9 11 happened. Sorry. Again. Now that Kobe's dead, I feel like we can do 9 11, right? Can we do 9 11 jokes now? (laughs) The day that Kobe died. Is the day that 9 11 jokes became acceptable. That badass who hosts the fucking potluck for fucking piss in Jersey today. What? The badass who were from Michigan. He hosts Mad the Daddy? Lockwood? Yeah, dude. He fucking wore a piss in Jersey today. Fuck yeah. Dude, he wore a number 10 jersey. Ew, hilarious. And we got the last part of the podcast. This is going to be us closing it out. Marcus sounds like he can't handle his liquor, but... Dude, you have been more drunk than me this whole time. I have been sober this whole time. All right. Well, let's change that if anyone believes it. Um, um, wait. We got to... So we want to give a shout out. out. Set it down. Set it down. We uh, gotta, I want to shout out Mike Eshag. Mike Eshag. Melanie, Melanie Hearn, Hearn. Saul Trujillo. Yes. Obviously, the late, great Kobe Bryant. Uh, um, Phil Jackson, Shaq, Sycamore Tavern, Lindsay for Hunter, always having us. Um, shout out. Uh, um, the he, yeah, the he he, the he he dojo comedy club, Free Palestine. Um, shout out I said Red that. Fox. Shout out Boogie. Shout out J Bell. Shout, shout out, out Lizzo. Punchline. Punchline. Shout out. 
Josh Adams, he's shout out to Darius Bennett, yeah, Ron shout Taylor, out Taylor Jeff Wars, Jeff Motown Laugh Kings is out here. Um, um, and you know what? Strikers Entertainment is out here now because I'm out here. So yeah, that's, shout that out, was shout my out show. Tony Roney and the Comic Vibe. Uh, uh, what else? We shout out, uh, shout we out, shout out New Ridley. A Bar, Paul Pipitone. Shout out Paul Pipitone, Ami Jane, motherfucking <laughs> fuck at water, you can suck my cock. Motherfucking Justin Haig, Dankus Weed in the D, fucking Andrew Magrita. Stop doing, stop doing, stop doing what you're doing, bro. Just stop doing what you're doing and do what you need to do, bro. You know what uh, you Luke need to Legere do. Luke Legere and Andrew need to shout stop out Luke Legere. No, Luke and Ben Rollison. Luke, fuck Ben Rollison. Luke, you do what you're going to do. Uh, shout out Meek Mill, Two Chains, Eminem. I hate their everything album. that's being said right now. Can we do this shot? Let's do this, this shot. shot. This shot is to uh, this shot is to dreams and to anybody who has a fucking dream. Uh, drink to uh, dreams. Bro. Drink to pushing forward and drink to never giving up. Bro, what's Cheers. crazy? Cheers. It's fucking open mics with Justin and Marcus. We love you.